with the technical setup. I guess we can start. <laughs> so, dear all, welcome to this event uh, on celebrating an exemplary life by Professor Kameshwar Wali from Syracuse University, hosted by McCansel's Physics July. So many young physicists from Turkey grew up hearing about Feza Girsay, recollections of Feza Girsay, as a brilliant scientist, but also as an inspiring intellect. And we are such a group of young people who came together during the pandemic. We, uh, we initially met each other telling us about our research weekly so as to stay in touch. We are PhD students, postdocs, and even undergrads uh, who have had a part of their training in Turkey, but who are all around the world today. And learning that this is the 100th birth year of Feza Girsey, we wanted to learn more about him. And also we wanted to use this occasion as a way to set up bridges between different uh, generations. Professor Kameshwar Vali is a very close friend and collaborator of Feza Girsey. Uh, himself and he is himself an inspiring physicist. He cares not only about physics but also about the personality behind other interesting physicists, inspiring physicists. Uh, Wally himself has worked on many aspects of gravity and particle physics and he is also the author of uh, both scientific and personal biographies of Chandra Shekhar one of the most influential names to develop the way to our current understanding of gravity at astrophysical scales. So today it is a delightful opportunity to get to learn more about Feza Girsey from Professor Wally. And also for September 11th, we are planning another uh, event for our Turkish speaking audience, uh, which will be more of a panel type discussion session with support from Professor Ali Alpar and Academy of Sciences, uh, Sciences. But so for today, I am happy to pass on the screen to Professor Kameshwar Wali. And at the end of his talk, I will open the floor for questions and general discussion. So please go ahead. Thank you, Gizem. Okay, Dad, your turn. I start? Yeah. Well, I appreciate very much giving me a chance to say a few words on this occasion of uh, my dear friend, Feza. <coughs> I have some notes of where I met him and talked to him and so on. <coughs> I met Feza at Yale University where he was the late Gibbs Willard Professor of Physics. He was a graduate of Istanbul University and Imperial College of London and had done his postdoctoral work at Cambridge University. That first inquiry with Feza occurred in the summer of 1959 at Brookhaven, uh, sorry, at Brooklyn National Laboratory. We were among the summer visitors there recognizing his name on the door of his office, I went and introduced myself because I knew his work on the so-called Paul Gersey transformation and also because I had yeah. take a, Don't try and yeah. don't hold it yeah, up. Yeah. I'd heard he a lot about him from K. K Nisijima. In any case, I felt immediately close to him. I don't think he changed much over the years, nor has my feeling towards him. I invited him for a colloquium at Syracuse. He gladly agreed and gave an impressive talk that led to my great interest. I got a chance to discuss with him some physics questions and we ended up agreeing to work together on some papers. We published two papers. My association with him became professional and personal. 
my wife Kashi and his wife Sua became friends. I was invited twice to summer schools in Istanbul. I took two uh, Turkish students, but above all, I must say, I learned a great deal from him, not only through his original work, but also because of his erudition in mathematics and physics. He became a good, good source of research and enlightenment for me. And my indebtedness to him often appears in the form of references and footnotes in my papers. In a more direct and important way, his contribution to physics influenced my thinking too. The idea of an effective Lagrangian embodying certain symmetry properties first appeared in his work on chiral symmetry. This was further developed by other people in the late 60s. And Someone else is. Can you? Okay, go ahead. Continue. <clears throat> yeah. Start here. Uh, this was further developed by other people in the late sixties and made it into a polished method of chiral Lagrangians. This has further developed. Most recently, the effect of Lagrangian is coming back in a broader content in connection with the guts or the grand unified theory. The Paul Gussie in transformation is also quite commonplace now. <clears throat> Faisa had just my, sorry. Faisa had built a fine and unique school of theoretical physics at Yale. Every bit of his had every bit of it had the color and flavor of Faisa. It also fits nicely into the dignified Yale transition tradition dating back to Willard Gibbs. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my wife, my wife Kashi and I <clears throat> first learned of his illness in 1991, and I wrote to him right away that we were, sh we were sh sh shattered to hear the news. I wanted to let him know how our, our paper had first just had been accepted for publication in physics, physics review, and the galley proofs were on the way. He died just a few months later. It, it was a very sad time for me. I felt I'd lost a great colleague and friend. Occasions like these are supposed to mean a celebration, a tribute to the memory and yeah, a tribute to the memory and triumph of a personal life. <clears throat> Excuse me. It may be so. This one is certainly so. But for me, the finality of someone so dearly loved and respected, departing from our midst, cannot but have leave behind sadness and sorrow. None of us know why suddenly or otherwise we are to say, it is time to put away our toys. On occasions like this, I like to quote a passage from Erwin Schrodinger. <clears throat> My view of the world, call, he says, he's called, call it if you like, a prayer or an agnostic, atheist or non-believer. Thus you can throw yourself flat on the ground. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want water? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a sip of yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 
Start here. Yeah, Start over. Day. Thus you can throw yourself flat on the ground, stretch upon Mother Earth with the certain conviction that you are one with her and the one with you. You are firmly established as in what invaluable as she, that is the Mother Earth, indeed a thousand times firmer and more in invulnerable. As sorry as has she will as, as surely, as surely as she will engulf you tomorrow, so surely she will bring forth a new to new striving we'll and, uh, and suffering, and not merely someday, now, today, every day she is bringing you forth, not one but a thousand times, just as ever day, just as ever day. She engulfs you a thousand times over. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for my some few ideas, few feelings about feeling about phase. I guess he was my dear one of my dearest friends from a long, for a long time, all through our living. So I'm sorry for all of you who knew him and uh, um, that is life. What can we do? Thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance to say a few words about my great friend. Not only that, he influenced me. I cannot, I cannot describe all the details of how I, I was influenced by his ideas. And together we made, I think, great progress in physics. Particle physics changed completely last century. Mathematics became very important. Hardware. Before that, experiments doing, obviously by experimenters and learn, but the theories came into last century and it became very important uh, to, for the understanding nature and uh, he was one of the great physicists of the last century. Thank you very much. I know how many of your friends here are feel about him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It, it was really nice to hear these words. I think it was inspiring for young people like me, but I think it was also nice for the generation that knew him in person. And we are a very mixed group right now, so perhaps other people would like to add some things. You can unmute yourselves right away, or if you raise, use the raise hand option, I can also call out your name. If you write something on the chat, I will also read it. What is it? I don't know. Okay, uh, Ali Alpar, please go ahead. It is. <laughs> Thank you very much, Professor Wali. Uh, what is very inspiring for me today is to see all these young people, these bright faces. Uh, in my generation, when we were your age, in our 20s as uh, students, we were very And now I recognize that there's a, a whole new generation who have heard of him and he would have loved this. I mean, to see that in Turkey, there is this group of bright young women and young men coming into physics. Uh, Feza Bey and so on would, would just have loved this to, to see all. And uh, it's particularly inspiring for us, I'm sure, like I see Yeter 
I see. Uh, I saw Önder Pekcan uh, Tekin Dereli. All of us who knew uh, Feza and Suha Gürsey. Uh, that uh, these young people came up with this initiative. All of us in the old generation sort of knew, okay, 2021 is uh, Feza Bey's uh, 100th anniversary, but we uh, forgot about his, his birthday. April passed with his uh, anniversary of his birthday and everything. And then suddenly the young people came up with this idea and I know they'll be following. And uh, I just want, want to thank you all and uh, wish you all good luck uh, with your physics. And thank you again, Professor Vali. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm. I guess we're also a bit curious about the atmosphere. Like if you can compare the atmosphere between uh, professors and students back then and now, like the discussions, dinners perhaps that departments had, things like that. <laughs> She's asking, can you compare the atmosphere Mm -hmm. from when you were working mm -hmm. with Faiza and with students mm -hmm. uh, compared to now? Yeah, compared to now, yeah. what was the atmosphere like when you were- Student? You and Faiza, what was it like working with physics students? Physics students? Yeah. Uh, I don't know exactly <laughs> what to say. Uh, in general, our, our feeling with the, our students was very friendly. So, I mean, the people who are working say their thesis uh, very, very close. And uh, it, it was the, the, all the students who were working, so I suppose, uh, were very friendly. We were, we were all, at least in my experience, I treated all my students as my friends mostly. <laughs> I also would like to ask a final question. Uh, he didn't know about that. <laughs> He's asking a question. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, thank you for your talk at first. And I wonder, you said uh, two times you have visited Istanbul as well uh, as a visitor. So do you remember anything about the uh, physics community at those times? And how, how did you find people at those times, the, the environment? He's asking, when you visited Turkey, mm. how did you find the physics community and the atmosphere? Uh, oh. When you went to Turkey, to Istanbul? Uh, the, it was a very short visit. Uh, I forget the name of the, the but uh, I really enjoyed being there. I didn't meet many students, but uh, there were some physics uh, um, uh, scientists that I knew. Um, I, I had a very good time being there and seeing the country, parts of the country when I was there. And uh, all together, I was uh, very lucky. I felt very lucky. Um, I had the chance of meeting. And the, the, there was a, I forget the name. His mother uh, used to come to Syracuse for a visit and I met her there. And I think she was uh, interested in chemistry, if I remember correctly. And altogether, it was a wonderful visit. I think I made two or three times and saw part of part of the country. So, so uh, no noted areas and um, every time I went, I was really very happy. Thank you.
I'll just add, I don't know about the physics community, but I remember, mm -hmm. and I was just a young girl, how much he loved Turkey. He went to Ankara and took beautiful pictures of children he met on the streets. And uh, he really had very special and strong feelings uh, for his visits to Turkey. He would talk about it a lot. And we went back, uh, my mother, uh, my niece, and we went in 2002 for a physics conference in uh, Istanbul. And uh, I don't know who he met there at that time, but I know um, he just had a very special uh, feelings for Turkey. And we had a wonderful visit that time also. Another time I remember I was in Israel uh, for a visit and suddenly the war thing began going to happen and so on and so forth between uh, Israel and uh, Egypt. Iran, I think that was uh, 1967. Israel. Yeah. So uh, I left and the very, very day when I left, very, very, there was bombing took place, but I had to stay in, in Turkey. In Turkey. And I remember that experience too very well. Mm -hmm. well there are so many interesting things <laughs> I can talk. It will end less in my diaries. From friends I met and places I saw in Turkey at that time. And I was very, very happy having had the chance being, being in Turkey. Thank you so much for your time. Would anyone else like to say anything more? Uh, actually, in the chat, Scott Watson is thanking and he comments that the talk was very inspiring. My new book is is basically the um, my work done uh, uh, in, in the last uh, you know in the particle physics. It is called Fats and Fancies. I'll put. Part let me put it up, Dan. Fats and no. Fats and Fast and fancies. So <clears throat> how many you know theoretical ideas were made, and then some of the experiments will disprove them, and so on. The ideas of idea of theoretical ideas, but more often very new last century. That is what I call fads and fancies, and they are all supposed great, but all, the, all of them would not come out to be right. Fads and fancies, experimentally, eventually they were defeated. Some of them, I mean, so some of them would not agree with that predicted, theoretically predicted. So that is the meaning of the type, fads and fancies of particle physics. So the types of things i done theoretical physics in my own in, in all the areas of last century and uh, and some made it make some predictions and they came very well it was great but some of the ideas did not work out so that is that is the meaning main things about oh, mainly all my research work uh, papers 
that involves uh, other authors also. Fats and fancy the captive. Well, do you have plans for a new book? <laughs> what is the question? She said plans for a new book for a next project. Do you have plans for a new book? Oh, new book. Um, I have some of my ideas of um, some my own extension of um, paper, but my, right now I'm more interested in the writing about the great uh, who? M. N. Roy. M. N. Roy. Uh, the great, uh, the, in my opinion, the great uh, person of last century. Uh, I'm writing about his. I'm very fond of him. India has uh, not recognized enough of the great, like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and so on. But um, his his own ideas are the best ideas, of really good uh, ideas. Of, uh, the, his, uh, I'm I'm very impressed and very useful ideas of making our happiness. So I'm working on that one. That will be my last, I guess. I won't have any more days to live. <laughs> Has anybody heard about Emin Roy? Manvendra Roy? He was supposed to be a communist. He went to Russia. First, he left India to get um, arms to get, get uh, fight away, make India free, get the British out. Uh, but in, in time, he got interested in Mexico and communism, and he became a communist, very, very famous communist. And then he was always, in, in, he became somewhat disappointed with the communists, the Russian communism and so on and so forth. And he has started a new idea of uh, um, real free, nice ideas for individuals. And uh, it's very, very interesting. I cannot describe all the things, but but, but he ended up coming back and in six years, he was in, um, in, in India. In prison. Yeah. And then when he came out, uh, he tried to uh, change the India's uh, with Mahatma Gandhi and all that. It, it did not work. His main idea is human freedom for everyone freedom from everyone and uh, very very interesting you'll see i hope i'll finish the... we, we look forward to it i remember you starting working on it when i was in syracuse we look forward to it uh as Ezge has a question go ahead Ezge. yes thank you for the, this delightful talk first of all um, I wonder, do you have any um, extraordinary adventurous memory with Feza Gursay, actually? <laughs> Is there any moment like, or, or a memory like, an, yeah. She, she's asking, do you have any specific memories of Feza Gursi? Do you have any, uh, remember you told the story of when he came and gave a talk here? Oh, uh, Feza. Yes, yeah, specific memories about Feza Gursi. Oh, yeah. Uh, she wants you to share one. Oh, we were very good. We, we became very good friends. I mean, it's uh, uh, in all the meetings, sometimes we we're staying together and uh, uh, what can I say? He was a very good friend of mine. What um, was his personality like? Personality was, was he was very he was very nice. I cannot 
<laughs> I cannot um, say anything particular, but I liked him and his wife. We were, when they came uh, to give talks, etc., they stayed in our house, and we became we became real friends, and uh, and we we were both. Uh, Agree, we were both in agreement of a criticism of the, some physical physics. And so all together, we were very good, great friends. From the, from the, from the beginning. Thank you. Also, Ali Alpar has a book of Feza Girsay's mother, Ramzi Ahisar. I, I mean, he will talk more about it on September 11th, but because we might have different audiences, would you like to say a few words now as well? Yeah. Ali Alpar, if you're still there. Okay. Well, uh... The relation uh, Feza and Suha Girsey had with their friends, colleagues, students was something very personal, which meant that some of us were fortunate enough uh, when uh, the Girseys were visiting Turkey. Uh, to be taken to Feza Gürsey's mother's home. Now, uh, she was quite old at the time, and I got to know her, as I said, through Feza and Gürsey, because they were so open to all the young people around them. Uh, and uh, the whole family was remarkable. Uh, Fezabe's uh, mother was one of uh, four sisters, and she was one of the first uh, women in science in Turkey to have obtained a PhD in chemistry uh, from the Sorbonne. And she was also one of the first, not uh, only women, but first scientists in Turkey to actually return to the country and, uh, and do research. This was unusual because there was no understanding of research in the country in her generation, certainly in, her sons, Fezabe's generation, Feza Gürsey, Erdemir, who were our inspirations, our teachers, it wasn't easy for them. They were the first few people, but at least there were a few. But in uh, Ramzi Hanım's uh, generation, uh, she was regarded as a curiosity, someone who would work till late hours in her lab. Uh, people didn't like that, you know, to, uh, doing research, what is research for? Uh, but, but she... I think the video is frozen, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ali Hocam, can you hear us? We cannot hear you. Okay, I guess if he comes back, we will notice. <laughs> mm. Yeah, did you want to add something? No. Okay, so if anyone has, if I mean, everyone has said everything, 
they would like to share if there is nothing more anyone mm -hmm. would like to share? i'm sorry my my internet connection is yeah, not so. reliable so I, let me just wind up but i want to point out connection with the mother is uh, that the whole family were uh, very broad intellectuals they had uh, not only interests but their talents in uh, in art in uh, poetry for example both his mother and fezabe wrote poems and not amateur poems are really good poetry um, and Fezade's son, Yusuf, is also, you know, he, he trained as a, as a PhD in engineering, but he turned out to have uh, many uh, good abilities in linguistics and he sort of now lectures on that subject. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm not sure about my internet connection. I don't want to go on much further, but I'll try to say a few, a few things about the family. And I'm sure uh, other friends from my generation, like Yeter, like Mehmet Erbudak, if he's here, several other people will share more memories, uh, personal memories, because some of us, like, uh, we are not, we are physicists, but not, uh, not uh, high energy physicists. So it's more uh, personal, more uh, different kinds of memories we had, and we are, we are from a different generation. Uh, so I hope we'll have. Uh, chance to share all of that on uh, the meeting you people will organize later in September. Okay, go, go ahead. Dad wants to add something. Go ahead. Oh, now I remember there was some, uh, uh, his mother and his wife, there were some problems between them <laughs> and uh, uh, many times I used to hear, uh, we were very good friends. And um, so that, that uh, if I look at my diaries, all the details will be there. But I remember that and always uh, um, his wife uh, complaining <laughs> about his mother. <laughs> and he, what could he do for his mother? So I remember that, yeah. That's nice. Okay, I, I guess we can conclude here. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, Professor Kamishar-Wali, and thank you so much, Monona-Wali, for setting up the technical uh, connection on Syracuse side. Also, thanks to McCancel's Physikçüler, which I said, this group of PhD students and postdocs and undergraduates and master's students who are staying active, sharing each other's uh, knowledge in physics with each other. But we also like to discuss about literature, art, other things. So thank you to everyone for your interest. And hopefully... Yeah. Later. Yeah. You want to say something? No. Say thank no. you. Uh, thank, thank you so much for this. Um, giving me a chance to think about them. Thank you so talk about it rather. I think I always think about it. And, uh, I think also everyone enjoyed hearing. Much of all your students, everyone <laughs> remember Faisa and uh, work and all success in there. Yes, and people are looking forward to your book. <laughs> I hope the libraries can get a copy of his physics book. It's very expensive, unfortunately, on Amazon, but maybe some of yeah. the libraries can get it. Uh, it's such a nice representative example of uh, 20th century physics and what physicists were working on. And as I said earlier, there are two papers that the two papers he wrote with Faisa Gursi are in that book. Um, I knew one great student from you, Gizem. <laughs> Gizem. <laughs> <laughs> we are very good friends. He was a very good, great student. 
I am very impressed. Thank you. This is a problem for okay. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Kizem. Thank you, and thank you to everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.